Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another edition of Miss Universe 2020 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. Venezuela has announced and crowned the representative for the Miss Universe 2020 pageant and it is Mariangel Villasmil. But before we proceed, I am inviting you to follow her on her Instagram account which is at Mariangela e -double -E -L -V -A. It's somewhere on the screen so you can just use it as your guide to follow her journey to Miss Universe 2020. And also, don't forget to follow me as well at I am Alvin Sabatero in my Instagram account. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more pageant updates. Also, you can support me and my channel through my PayPal account which is available in the description below. Thank you very much. Now, for Mariangel, she is a model, writer, baker, and also a psychology student. If there's one thing that is sure right now, it is definitely the fact that she is a complete upgrade from Talia Olvino last year. Well, most of the time, I like her beauty-wise, but there are just cases where I am not a huge fan of some of her angles, but with the right styling, there's no doubt that she can be a threat in the finals. I can really see potentials in her beauty, but there are really styling where she sometimes looks a little bit plain to me. So that's one thing that they really wanted, that I really wanted them to work on. I know I have mentioned before that she is a top 20 caliber. I will definitely take that back because she was indeed a surprise to me when I saw how she looked and performed during the finals. That's when I realized that she actually did very, very well. Let me just clarify when I posted that. I haven't seen her performance yet. I just based it on my leaderboard. But Zulia, she's somewhere down there in my leaderboard. So, quite surprise. But I'm taking it back. I apologize I'm changing my opinion so now that I'm taking it back let me rephrase everything based on the current set of candidates for Miss Universe 2020 I would say Venezuela is an easy top five the question now is how long can she stay there and how consistent will she be to stay as a top contender for this edition. I mean, her swimsuit performance was great. Although we didn't see much of her walk because the stage is quite small, but I have seen videos of her doing the catwalk in her social media accounts. And I have mentioned it in my leaderboard that catwalk skills is definitely one of her greatest assets because she can just whip everybody away. <laughs> she can just whip everybody away with her sarong and with how confident she is, with her personality and aura, Evening Gown Round was amazing. Although I wouldn't say much because Miss Venezuela always gives their candidate a different gown in Miss Universe. So different from what they wore when they won Miss Venezuela. But that's one thing that I am very excited to see. I wish someone could also help me translate the final question and answer because I also wanted to know if she delivered very well and strongly in that round. Obviously, she won, so I am assuming that she did very strongly, but I still wanted to know the question and her answer in English. So I'm hoping someone could help me translate in the comment section. And I think if there's one thing that I wanted to change in her, I would want to see a better, a much better transformation for her when it comes to styling and look, but I am confident that they can do it because Venezuela is still Venezuela. I have no hopes for Talia Olvino last year, but when she made it in the top 20, I'm just blown away because it made me realize that they did not lose their spark at all. They still have it because look at how they transformed Talia last year. And with Mariangel this year, who is much better than Talia, I believe they will transform her much better as well. 
For the interviews, this is the part where I am unsure since I cannot understand Spanish but personality-wise, she delivers it when it comes to the interviews that I have watched but content-wise, I'm not sure. Hopefully, she can also nail it in this department because I think if she is good in interviews, it will only increase their possibility rate of doing well in the competition. If you can all look at the, at the candidates so far, others are still on their transformation process. But for Mariangel, I think this is the candidate that you can just send anytime and she will come prepared and ready to slay. I think that's the greatest advantage of Venezuela having the long preparation for the pageant that really explains why they are doing well. So right now, I have high hopes for her. This is a different version of me, a version that liked her. So as what I've said, I'm really taking back all the... I'm not, it's not really that negative, but I'm taking all my first commentaries about Venezuela and this is me right now, loving her. Having said that, Venezuela is in the Americas. And here's my current ranking for that group. Number seven is the Cayman Islands. Number six, Curaçao. Number five is Panama. Four is Brazil. Number three is Puerto Rico. And I'll put Venezuela at number two. But my number one is still Nicaragua, Ana Marcelo. Now, right now, I would love to know your thoughts as well about Venezuela, especially my people from the Latin American region. What do you think of her? Because you are the real, you are the people who truly knows her quality because you know how she speaks. So I would love, I would really love to know your thoughts about her. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, Thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.